Hello everyone, Liam here and welcome back to Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I've got Harry hiding in a dark corner here. Look how sinister he looks. He looks like a he looks like a crackhead. <laughs> he looks so skinny. Oh, it's freaking me the F out. Okay, well let's talk to some people, I guess. Try and mingle. Can I just bite into the conversation here? Look at Lupin just pretending that I don't exist. Must have been a shock seeing that camp and Mr. Weasley. We're glad you were able to warn us. If you hadn't, Sirius could have come much more. What ya, Harry? Tonks, what's it like to be a nice fucker like you? That's what I want to be when I leave Hogwarts. Well, it's lots of hard work, but being a catcher does have its rewards. I better warn you, though, there's lots of us scars fighting hard wizard kissing to do before you qualify. Wow! Can I break the uh, cabinet? Ooh, look at my flexible arm. Ugh. There's no bones left! If I lived here, this would scare the fuck out of me. Look at that creepy ass corridor. <laughs> Why would anyone live here? It's like the house from PT. The noble and most ancient house of us. Crack. I hate a lot of them. Went to live with your father. Your mother blasted me off. You haven't seen my crack, have you? Been missing for quite some time now. Okay, well, bye then. This is like a squatter's house. What are you doing, Ginny? Your come mom's. Might as well destroy the place before we leave. That would look good on me. Look at this. <laughs> We're just stealing from my godfather now. Well, I'm gonna blame it on you, Ginny. Blood traitors! Abominations! Imagine trying to sell this place. Yep, um, house contains a very racist painting and will constantly scream at you if you're any different. A bit like being at school. Abominations! God, is that all she does? Take that picture to the dump, I say. <laughs> Can you imagine if every single floor was filled with a painting like that? Oh, Ron's in bed. Big surprise. Can I set Hedwig a light? I want to set Hedwig on fire. I guess you can't do that. This game doesn't let you do anything. Hi. Hi, Harry. Listen, mate, about my dad. I know. It was me. Come on. Him. I'm sorry. Couldn't have been you, could it? Like a mind is always saying. There's no way it could have been you. <sighs> I feel so sleepy. Have you seen Creature? Everyone's looking for Creature, but no one's looking for Harry. I am the chosen one, you know. How many flaws does this house have? Are we supposed to know where Creature is? Ah! Oh my god, that made me jump. Imagine just quietly going down for a glass of milk or something and just hearing that. No, thank you. I would not want to live here. And this is supposed to be better than the Dursleys. Well, I beg to differ. What the hell is this testicle of an elf? Speak, or no one gets hurt. I am warning you. Where the hell is this fucking nutsack looking elf? Well, is he behind the curtains? Tell Arthur when you want to leave. Yeah. You know what? Screw Creature. I'm not even going to bother with him. Are you alright, Mr. Weasley? Are you serious? No. St. Mungo's was an interesting experience. I'd had a very long day. Dozed off. A trainee healer there fucked me. You know. What really happened? Are you ready to go back to school? You bitch. You should go back to school. If my mistress only knew the vermin infesting masters us. It would break mistress's heart. My mother didn't have a heart. Now blow me off, creature. Whatever master wishes, nasty brat. Oh god, it's horrible. Kill it. So, time to go back to Hogwarts. Away with you! It's Hagrid! He's back! Hagrid! What are you doing here? Get out of my house! Where have you been all this time? Azkaban prison? We're killing some muggle-borns. It doesn't matter. What's going on, Hagrid? I can't leave without telling someone about him. About who? I couldn't just leave him. See, he's my brother. Grop. Well, half-brother. Grop. <sighs> Kill your new friend, Hermione. Hooray! <laughs> 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 and that's all we'll ever see of Grop, probably. Hey, it's Hagrid. It's a shame I can't flipendo him in this game. Oh, God, I miss the screaming. Hey, Harry, how not you better get to Snape's office? Shut up. Yep, because my friends are always there to tell me what lessons I have because Harry doesn't know his daily routine or plan. Let's talk to speak to Hagrid. All right, Harry. Wow, good conversation. Great. I can't flipendo him, but I can hit him repeatedly with this water can. That's for leaving me, you prick. Searching for the other giants. What's wrong with you? The centaurs are good and riled with me. <sighs> <laughs> what was that? Grr, grr. Okay, well, I'm going to leave you. You're mad. Right, on our way to Snape. I don't know why Ron and Hermione are coming with me, but there you go. Uh, where's the... Well, I don't even know where the dungeons are. I just love how it just the game just didn't spawn me there. It just spawned me to the furthest point of the castle. <laughs> I love having Ron and Hermione here with me just to tell me repeatedly that I ought to be doing this or shouldn't I ought to be there and so on and so forth. I remember this game being really exciting when I got this as a child, but playing this as an adult, it's just kind of boring. Most of it is just walking around the castle. 
I mean, it's great to see, like, a living, breathing, oh, somewhat a living, breathing Hogwarts, but, yeah, a lot of it is just walking around, going up the stairs, going down the stairs, going up the stairs again, going down the stairs again, and going through portraits. That dog is, like, sniffing his nutsack. Shut up, Ron. That's what I'm trying to do. There's just so many stairs. Oh, my God, this is giving me a headache. Oh, God, I feel dizzy. I generally feel dizzy. You're late, Potter. The game Inside. spawned me the other side of the castle. Okay, let's have this intimate eye contact. God, his eyes are dead. <laughs> There's like no life in Snape's eyes whatsoever. Oh god, this is hard. Who would have thought moving an analog stick to the center is hard would be hard? Snape's like, why is Sirius touching you in your special area? Good thing there's not any uh, just dirty-minded things in here. You know, as a 15-year-old boy, you'd think there'd be more graphic things lurking about, like 4chan forums and what have you not. He's been defeated, but not killed. What just happened then, Potter? I've just realised. Voldemort, big D. I'd forgotten I'd seen it. What? I've been dreaming about it. Voldemort's been thinking about it. This lesson is over. Now fuck off. Hi, Harry. Everyone's waiting for you in the room of requirement. Yeah, good job just shouting that at the whole fucking corridor, Hermione. Looks as if we're trying to keep this inconspicuous. Hermione. Have you noticed that Harry is probably mental? Ron thinks everyone's mental without ignoring that he himself is a complete nutcase. Okay. Um, room of requirement, because I'm not going to remember off the top of my head where the hell that is. Uh, it's on the seventh floor anyway. Close enough. Yep, Ron just blocked the whole fucking doorway. Power walk up those stairs. Work those thighs. Go, he got up there really quick. A lot quicker than I would have gotten up there. No, no, no. Oh, you piece of shit. Harry? <laughs> Freedom! <laughs> My aunt says you can produce a poo. Is that true? Yeah, it's a stat. It's a pa, pa. Why don't you teach us Expecto Patronum? <sighs> no, I feel so sleepy. But you'll need to think of a really happy memory to get a powerful poo. Patronus. Now copy me. Copy my happy memory. But doesn't this work better when there's Dementors about? Oh my god, that's so fucking bright. It's like a goddamn Apple store in here now. Your parents are dead! Oh, for, for Jesus Christ! Alright, I can't take all of these on my, by myself, Jesus! Oh my god, I mean like a <laughs> slithery gangbang! What the fuck? I, I don't know what to do here. I've forgotten all the spells. Can I just run? Can I just escape? Is it game over? Didn't mummy ever tell you it was rude to eavesdrop, Potter? She was dead before you could wipe the drool off your chin. <laughs> Mr. Potter? 50 points to him! <laughs> I'm sorry, Harry. I'm sorry. Consider that a divorce. Well, the game is up. Would you like Harry's confession? Professor, no! Be quiet, Harry. Harry destructed the form this organization. Harry is responsible for its activities. But I'm afraid I have no intention of going quietly. Well, at least it's a sunny, bright day in the land of Hogwarts. Harry! What's the matter? A group of Ministry Wizards and Umbridge came on Hagrid. What? Is he alright? No! But Professor McGonagall tried to help Come on, Hagrid! But Hagrid escaped. She's hurt! We have to do something. We need to get to Hagrid's hut in case he's left any evidence about, you know, him helping Dumbledore come on the giants. Did you see Potter in potions? He got another zero. How many zeros am I getting in potions? Jesus Christ, wake the fuck up, Harry. Okay, so where's Hagrid's hood? On the other side. Come on then, kids, let's go. Let's go to Hagrid's. Oh! <laughs> what the hell was that? It wasn't Cho's fault. They used Veritaseum on her. So I, I'm guessing Harry just doesn't take her back after finding out about the Veritaseum. What happens to Cho at the end? It's a shame she struck Drops gold when she was uh, dating Cedric. We have to get to Hagrid's hut. Thanks for reminding me every five seconds. Like, Harry must- there must be a reason why they keep reminding me, like, this shit every two minutes. I think Harry's just a, a very forgetful person. Right, I need a- where's that boulder? There's that boulder. You never know when you need a boulder into battle. I love how Umbridge is letting students just burn down Hagrid's heart. Hagrid's livelihood. <laughs> She's a fucking anarchist. Hmm. That rock has seemed to have stopped in space and time. Right, I don't want to get too close because I want to start a cutscene. I want to be able to bash their heads with the boulder. <laughs> yes, I got Malfoy. I love this boulder. <laughs> I squashed his face. Oh no, they got the boulder. Of 
come on that big oaf like you, Potter. Watch it, Malfoy. The Ministry had to send some wizards to help Professor Umbridge. Him being half giant, they thought he'd be too giant to come on. <laughs> That's it, Malfoy. Run, no! Quick, we've got to help him! Do we have to? I mean, where was Ron when I was being ambushed by Slytherin? I know I told him to get away, but I was saying that to be friendly and nice. I'm just literally button bashing the analog stick at this point. I can't remember all the spells that I've learned. Oh, good, our butts are touching. Oh, wait, wait, he's down. Spilly armors that prick. No, the other one. Oh, there we go. Oh, we, we have got to stop meeting like this crab or goil, whichever one you are. Oh, God, Malfoy's doing a sexy pose in front of me. He's trying to seduce me. Times have changed. Even McGonagall's been taken away to St. Mungo's. Will they take all the loonies? Did, uh, did they actually send McGonagall to the to the madhouse? That's crazy. Did that happen in the books? I can't remember. We have to fight the others. Wilshire Hogwarts. Umbridge is really in charge at Hogwarts. Um, should we put out the fire? I feel like we should put out the fire. Okay, it's not letting me uh, water down the fire. Okay, we're just going to let Hagrid's hut burn. Right, on our way to search for the goddamn DA members again. Ugh, we literally have to do this again. What the hell? Right, who's closest? Oh my god, Colin Creevy's the closest. Oh, oh, okay, let's, uh, let's go collect the DA members again. This has been the whole game. This whole game has been centered around find the DA members and do these weird tasks. Hi, Colin. Are you all right? No, I can't take a photograph of some first year. I wish I could, stupid inquisitorial squad. You know they're reporting me to Ambridge when I tried to take a photograph of some first year. Yeah, I know, Colin, but I want to photograph really rude things and you and Ron and Hermione and some first year. Fred and George said I could. They gave me these boxes of Honeydukes chocolates to post to the inquisitorial squad. Why do Fred and George want to send chocolates to the inquisitorial squad? Because they're not really chocolates. They're some really, really loud bonds. Fred and George have brilliant plans. We just need to find a way inside. Oh, great. More climbing. What the hell is this? What is this? This is a rat. Oh, it's an owl tree. An owl tree. And one for Ron, too. Eat the owl tree, Ron. Eat it. Fuck doing that. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at the drop. No 15-year-old boy would ever do this. Can you imagine falling from up there? Why does he sound like he's from, like, an old-time radio? I'm not even editing this. Where is he? Where is he going to drop him from? Whoa. Way. Good thing these aren't bombs. I feel like this is going to take me a long time to do. God, I'm pretty sure the owl community hates me right now. Whoosh. Nothing but net. Can you just send him up in, Wingardium like, in unison? Leviosa. Just send him up as a group. Wingardium Leviosa. I love how he says that he's trying to keep a low profile and he just yelled. Wingardium Leviosa. I don't even need to use the Wingardium Leviosa at this point. I could just could have just carried that along. What is going on here? I could have just carried that from here to there. I'm coming now. Nice one, Harry. This will show the Inquisitorial squad. Quick. Get to the window on the top floor! Oh, great. Jumping to my death, it seems. Keep Everything's always fucking broken in this school. <laughs> oh my Watch god. The oh, these kids are fucking psycho. I don't see Filch anywhere. I could have just come out the same way I came. Oh yeah, I forgot I can go in first person mode. This is weird. I really don't get how he's keeping upright. Definitely would have fallen by now. Do you think if he did fall from this height, he'd still survive because he's a Horcrux? Oh, can't I just jump from here? Oh god, Harry, you absolute diva. This is definitely game filler. I know game filler when I see it. I've read all about them in Hogwarts of History. Nice one, Harry. Those bonds will give those inquisitorial losers a right bashing. You did really well, Colin. I did. Thanks, Harry. Now fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Get out. Yeah, of course. Thanks, Harry. Wow. I helped Harry Potter. Bill just going to be so jealous. Okay, well that's taken care of. Who's next on my bucket list? Let's just go for the person closest to me. Which seems to be Dean Thomas and Luna Lovegood. Okay, well, Dean Thomas it is. The happy chappy Dean Thomas who's always excited and his eyes are just full of life. Oh, Ron seems to be stuck. Jeez, he is absolutely chasing me down. Stay away from me, Ron. <laughs> Why are you running? This ginger boy is gonna kill me. Oh, she looks like a little tiny Lucius Malfoy. The Weasley twins gave me a message. Yes? What is it? They've hidden portable swamps in the courtyards. They'd like us to set them off. There's one up there. If it rains, you'll be the first to know. Let's get that swamp. I hope there's pudding. What are you doing in my swamp? God, that was a terrible impression. I feel like we're doing Fred and George's bidding. They started their own Project Mayhem and we're, like, causing acts of terrorism. Let's try piling things up so we can climb. Okay, piling things up so we can climb. A pair. There we go, I'll pop that right there. We should be able to climb on there, no problemo. Uh, what are we gonna stack on there to, to climb? I thought there were supposed to be benches out here. Aren't there supposed to be benches out here? Great, we can get to the roof now. Why are we climbing on the roof? 
Ron is so oblivious to anything that happens. Oh god, another broken roof. What does Filch do during the summer holidays? Oh god, I can't repair this goddamn roof. This analog stick is not analoging. Slowly, 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 slowly. Oh, thanks for your help, guys. Came in just at the last second there. Bert and George said to put their swamp in the middle of the courtyard to set it off. That means you need to climb down. Thanks, Luna. I'd never been able to suss that out by myself. Otherwise, I'd be stuck on this roof forever. Lots of climbing to be done today. <laughs> Why is it just showing me Harry's body? We're on eyes up here. Oh, this has caused more of an inconvenience for us having to traverse our way through. What a great little shot this is. God, Dean is really tall. A lot taller compared to Daniel Radcliffe here. If we mess up the pop, Umbridge could go berserk. Come on, Harry. It's genius. But how do we mess it up? It's massive. Simple. Run by pop. Okay, let's do it. I can't really help. If I was to stand and look, I wouldn't actually be doing anything wrong, would I? Let me know when you've finished. Ron, hell. Like, this can't be the only place where everyone goes to tell what time it is. Surely people have watches in this world. So, yeah, how do I know which cog goes in which bit? I'm not even too sure what I'm doing. Am I destroying the clock? I have no idea. Go fall off your broom, Potter. <laughs> what a mean thing to say. Go die. I think I may have accidentally fixed the clock again. Did I do I think I did it. Great. There's got to be something else we can do to mess things up. Try looking upstairs. Okay. <laughs> Big heavy bit of metal coming your way. Plop. Hope he doesn't hit him in the head, because that would fucking kill him. It's raining cogs. I, st I still think this is a dumb prank. Like, it's not going to make her miss her lessons. She's going to know what, what time it is regardless without looking at his big clock. Guess I need to match the sizes on the other side, I guess. Oh, right, no. That needs to go there. God, clock making is so hard. Oh, God, now we're going back in time. We've essentially made a big time turner. Oh, my God, this is giving me a headache. Let's get out of here. Right, who's next? Who's closest? Okay, Padme and Pavati are literally on top of me. Not physically, but uh, on the map. Where are the goddamn feet? Oh, God, thank God. Away from that goddamn clock. We need your help. We... <coughs> Attention restaurant customers. Testicles. That is all. These announcements are really annoying. We think we know how we can sabotage them. Can you help us move that? Good idea, isn't it? Rubbish. Let's do it. Yeah, more acts of terrorism. I like it. Stay still. Stay still, Bench. Stay still. There you go. Ah, <laughs> that's what old age looks like. I eat frogs. It worked. We'll go and make some more babbling beverage so we can sabotage the other speakers. Come and look for us by one of the other speakers later. Do I have to? Can't you guys do it? You know what you're doing. You seem pretty capable. Uh, I don't, I don't what, know why we could have just walked together. <laughs> they just sort of legged it really quick as well. They got away super, super quick. Just a random thought, right, to anyone who's listening to this, if anyone's listening to this. Would you class Harry Potter as a Christmas film? Because I would. It's got Christmas in it. All of them. We've made some more bubbling beverage. They made that potion really quick. How do they make it? I am a master of stacking benches. Look at that. Blah. We'll meet you by the next speaker. How many speakers are there? Still got four speakers left to find. Four speakers? Are you having a laugh? They're literally in the other room. They didn't get far. We've made some more bubbling beverage. God, they get around the school very quickly. Out the way. Also, I love how Flitwick is just right down the corridor looking at us. Look, he's right there. He's witnessing crimes happening. You need to climb onto that. Yes, I know. I, I'm, I'm climbed onto that. Oh, I need, an, need another bench. Right. God damn, Daniel Radcliffe's restricted height. Actually, I think I'm the same height as Daniel Radcliffe. I think I'm just like a centimetre taller than him. That took ages. It was like watching paint dry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure they can apparate. It's eerily quiet around here now that there's no background music. It, it, does, make, it does make the castle scary when there's no music. Bubbling beverage. Don't pull that face, Ron. No, that's just Ron's resting face. Oh, I've got to get another bench. God damn it. Stupid tiny Harry. Ouch. <laughs> I gave myself concussion. Yow. Sorry. We'll meet you by the next speaker. How many speakers we got left? I feel like we're doing a whole tour around the school. Back the way we came from. Nice. There's a lot of back and forth going on in this task here. This quest. I I'm sure there would have been a more efficient way to do this. Like, do them in the order they appear from where we first started. Children who are found eating sweets. 
Uh, I'm never taking candy from a stranger ever again. You can't fool me, Humbridge. Alright, so back where we came from. Great. <laughs> oh god, I saw up her dress, which had nothing there. There was nothing there. She was just dressed, and that's it. I guess that answers the question. Ghosts don't have genitalia. It's just heads and shoulders and their clothes, and that's it. Never tire of hearing that phrase. Whee! A lot of ways going out of here. I like it. It's like being at a football match. Not that I've ever been to a football match in my entire life, but it's what I imagine what being at a football match is like. A lot of ways. Love away. Who doesn't love doing away? Drink up, speaker. It's like that speaker's farting on me. I might even forgive you for your behavior at the Yule Ball last year. What did I do wrong? Gave you a dance? At least one. Well, all that's left is my future wife, Jeannie Weasley. Wonder what her prank is gonna be. Open up the Chamber of Secrets and let loose a basilisk again. That was fun. Ha 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 ha. Let's petrify everyone, but just petrify the mudbloods. Hey, Harry! You won't believe what we're doing. Getting Malfoy up for Fred and George? Yeah. How did you I got Malfoy slimed up? And I had to hide it. Oh, if I have to duel Malfoy again, I'm not going to be a happy bunny. Take this, Potter! Oh, God. Let's beat up Crab and Goyle yet again. <laughs> Three times today. Three times. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Anyway, uh, I'd best be going. Take care of the bigger one first. He's not going down. Why isn't he, like, flipping over? Yield! Yield, goddammit! Yeah, join your slithering buddies. Brilliant. Well done, Ginny. Thanks, Hermione. Hey, I helped too. <laughs> yeah, and Ron, whatever. Oh, Fuck you. <laughs> That's all the students laughing at Ron right now. Plop. Oh, God, the Weasley kids are looking at me. Incendio! Oh, I thought I was going to burn Ron. Oh, Ron's getting the full swamp experience there. Yeah! Let's hope this makes Umbridge's name mud and comes. Yeah, she'll be swamped with complaints. Oh, hello there! Can we go now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, Ron, we should go after that poor performance of Harry's joke. Hope you've enjoyed watching today's part of Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix. And if you're new to the channel and new to these shenanigans, why not subscribing? I'll see you next Tuesday for more Harry Potter business. What's, what's Ron doing? He's <laughs> Ron doesn't know what to do. I think Ron's broken. It's okay, Ron. Stop panicking. I think Ron's having an anxiety attack. Okay, well, bye. <laughs>